ladies and gentlemen, the one and only This is for the African continent, and you're always repping the African continent. Your outfit, everything is always speaking of Africa. It's good that you're able to identify with our roots. You're upholding our roots and our cultures. Tell us about what you feel about Africa and the evolution of entertainment. We are gradually getting global recognition. Yeah, of course, whether we get the global recognition or not, the African um, entertainment industry has come to stay, and we are waxing stronger. And I can assure you that even the whole world are seeing the qualities, both in our culture, our tradition, and uh, in our ability to deliver. Putting Wachiku is right here on the red carpet. Feels good to have it. It's really hot in here, oh. but it's worth the while. It's worth the while. <laughs> it's worth it, it is worth the while, yes. Uti, you were actually hosting on the red carpet. You've yeah. spoken with a couple of celebrities. Yes. You're a celebrity yeah. too. Now, they've read your opinions and mindsets about African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. I mean, from the opinions and everything these people have said, what would you say about this initiative? I mean, best. don't be sentimental. Yeah, I'm not sentimental. It's Africa's biggest night. I mean, African Magic is still one of the most watched channels in, uh, in, uh, in the continent. So, uh, I mean, this is rewarding what they show. So, it's only right. And this is the Viewers' Choice Award, meaning um, it's uh, an award by the people for the people. This is a Tayo Gabriel apparel. Uh, this is the second outfit of tonight. The first one was by David Bala. So I'm, 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 I'm just trying to do like the divas. <laughs> Why are you late for this event? You're looking beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I mean, um, a lot of things happened today. Uh, work and every other thing. And I couldn't get out till maybe like five. And then I had to do my makeup. I had to, you know, get my dress. And then... <sighs> Oh, you're looking good. Sunday up well. Nice, nice dress. Let's do a brief spin. Just gently, gently. Very gently. Gently. I'm going to help you with the dress. Sure, definitely. I'm going to help you with the dress. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's it. There you go. Okay, Chelsea is here. You're here for African Magic Viewers Choice Awards 2014. You've been nominated for several awards. Are you nominated in any of the categories? Are you going to be a winner tonight? Um, no, no. <laughs> I hope to have you on the list next year. You gotta win. Yes, 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 we're here next year. I mean, we have about five projects coming out this year, so definitely next year. How would you feel if you had your name on next year's list as a winner? Okay, now this is the thing. I am nominated. Oh, are you sleeping as which of the category? Let me explain. Um, best online video. Now, as as an actor, I am Ufuma Ejenobo. But as everything else behind the camera, I am Stacy McDermott. Which happens to be my name, I know, right? <laughs> so I am Stacy McDermott. Oh my goodness, Stacy McDermott, Stacy McDermott. I hope yes, I got that right. It's right here on IGZ. <laughs> is that like, is that, is that, is that like, um, what am I going to say? Um, does, does a statement beyond say your altered ego or something? Ah, it's actually my pseudonym. I call maybe not, not really an alter ego because I'm not bipolar. But Stacy is my middle name. McDermott is my husband's name. So we just put that together to, you know, to be like another person so that. I, I can focus on you know being the actor in front of the camera and then as someone else behind the camera as well. What would you say to the nominees who aren't winners tonight? Um, first of all, there's, there's only one winner. We all know that. You know.
know, but the fact that you were nominated, you know, you were picked out of a, yeah, you know, so already, you know, you are already a winner. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just one person who can win. But for the fact that you are picked out, you know, that already makes you a winner. All right, Jibade is right here for African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. Yes, it's really hot in here, so everyone is sweating. Don't blame us. But we're you, coping man. with the heat. It's African Magic Viewers. looking hot as well. Everyone is looking hot. You're looking hot. I try to look hot. Everyone else is looking hot. So, hey, the heat is on. Okay, Mero, for tonight, I really can't tell, but I don't think you're one of the winners. Why? Are you? Oh! No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? The reason why I asked a couple of other nominees that came in when they saw you coming, they're like, "Is Mero nominated or he won?" So Mero, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> no, uh, Mero, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, Mero, are you? Which of the categories are you nominated? Uh, which of the categories? Like, it was a feature, a film I featured in. Uh, myself, Ike Chuka and Shan George. It was nominated for best. Yeah, the wages, you know. Can you imagine? So uh, I can't wait, you know, to climb on that stage. I hope that we're going to win because we all brought our A game to the table. Very briefly, your outfit nicely, well put together. Oh, thank you very I much. haven't seen this ever on the red carpet on you. Oh, Beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. This is proudly Joe Black. Joe Black at all. He fixed me up. You've been above your very similar president, actors guild of Nigeria, but she's one person that has surpassed herself. I just keep wondering whenever I stumble into this lady. You could imagine she paid a visit to the president of Nigeria with different Nollywood actors and actresses. Never in the history of Nigeria. If you never big ups. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, you're looking really good. Really. Thank you. But yes, it's about time. We got to the president. It was about time the president did something about Nollywood. There's transformation everywhere in every sector. And I just thought, hey, we too, we're here. Do something for us. I'm tired of us going and looking pretty and getting paid to go. Now, do something. Transform our industry. We are an industry, we are an export commodity, like big time. And I think it's time we start to take ourselves seriously and get involved with what's happening in Nigeria because we're a voice to reckon with. Ibn Amor, you've done so much for the Nigerian entertainment industry. I am proud of you. For Nollywood, you've transformed Nollywood, I would say. In your regime as president of AGN, you've done a couple of things that a lot of people have not been able to do. Now, Ibn Amor Fiberisima, I think you should get a presidential appointment. What do you think about that? I just did, actually. Woo! <laughs> I just did. I've just been appointed on the National Council for Arts and Culture. And uh, for me, I think that's just a beginning. Because it's time youths, young people like me, like a lot of us, you, start speaking out and saying the truth and stop being apolitical. Let, I mean, we should be apolitical, we should stop being political. As in, I mean, in this group, I'm in that group. Stand and speak. We are Nigerians. We want the best for Nigerians, not for a selected few. Now, Ruki, if, if, if at the end of the day you're, 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 you're called on stage and they're like, Ruki Sandra Gold, you know, how would you feel? Excited, I'll be like, yeah, oh my God. Okay, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm gonna be like that inside. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I mean, people, they've been telling me, oh, you need to make a speech, blah, blah. I'm like, really? It's good I was nominated, like where millions of people make, thousands of people making, you know, movies in Hollywood. So for them to pick all five of us, it's, it's a good thing. Everybody's the winner, regardless of who gets the big golden statue, so, yeah. Yeah, you're looking very beautiful tonight. I like your outfit. Who styled you? You styled yourself or someone did? I styled myself, but I, I bought my dress from Nigeria. <laughs> nice one. Okay, Yeni. Yeah, Tonight is going to be a magical night, full of surprises. You're looking forward to seeing a good show. Were you here last year? Yes, I was. Are you looking forward to something from what you saw last year? Yes, yes. I'm for, I've, you know, I've been inside already and... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's much, much more organized, much, much better than last year. I do hope you have a fantastic time. I am sure. Thank I know. you. Thank you. Nollywood has grown in leaps and bounds. Um, um, TV channels, I was going to say music channels, musical <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> TV channels like African Magic and a few other Nollywood channels have been able to showcase Nollywood movies to the entire continent of Africa. But now, if you're looking at African Magic, what do you think African Magic does for Africa and Nigeria as a whole? Because I think the, 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 the focus of African Magic more or less is on Ghana and Nigeria. I don't want to be sentimental, but the Ghanaian continent or the Ghanaian country catted away, they're actually going to be taking away most of the awards tonight. I'm not being So, what do you think about? African Magic, Ghana, Nigeria. Did you get a sneak peek to know they were going to carry? I, I, I have seen. I have seen the nominees list. So that's what I'm saying. Then I don't know that it necessarily works that way. But the truth is that I know that they reward excellence, and that's the truth. Whether you are from Ghana, whether you're from Kenya, wherever you are from, if you do good movies, of course you're going to be rewarded for them. Last year, people thought Nigeria was going to cut everything away. The Kenyans did come and do their thing. South Africa as well. So I know that. I mean, I mean, it's celebrating good movies generally. Um, African Magic does have a couple of channels. That there's one for Swahili, which is for East Africa. There's a Hausa one. There's a Igbo one. I think it's pretty.
pretty well spread out, and um, yeah, that, uh, it's 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 good. It's good that they're doing what they do, and hopefully we get to see more excellence celebrated tonight. I'll say you look extremely different, but yeah, the Iritiola girls' face is still on point. Thank God for that. You can't lose the face. Thank you. Thank you. Nice outfit put together. Who styled you tonight? Um, Fumi Ajila, the sitting president of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria. Her label is called House of Regalia. So yeah, very beautiful. I feel beautiful. Nice. Iritiola Doyle, you're here for African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards. It's the second edition of the awards. Now, what do you think about African Magic and the platforms they've created for us to express ourselves as Nigerians and Africans? Absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, no matter what anybody wants to say, they have raised the bar. They've given us huge platforms to express ourselves, not just here at home, but across the continent and even beyond. They are, to a large extent, to a very large extent, res responsible for why um, African content is so popular around the world and it can only get bigger and better. Beautiful darling, you look nice. Thank you so much. Thank Styled you tonight. You. Bubu, I am a Sigo. My stylist, she gets all the funky, sparkly things that I wear. Mm. Shay Shay, yes. Nollywood has come of age. You are very professional when it comes to singing. Yes. Do we, are, we, are we looking forward to seeing you sometime in the arts when it comes to Nollywood in front of the cameras, definitely. acting, movie? I'm definitely going to be acting soon. I really want to get into Nollywood. And so, you know, coming to this event obviously is uh, something that I should be doing. And I'm here because I want to support the actors and the actresses that have been nominated tonight. Now, how are you feeling like at this point in time? You're on the red carpet, it's fierce, it's hot, everyone is beautiful, you're beautiful. It is exciting. You can tell the ladies, they brought it. As I said to him, we are not playing, yeah? This is our own Oscar night, so let's enjoy it. All the way into the morning. But really, I'm looking forward to the winners of the various categories. You know, um, I'm rooting for some of them, yeah? Um, I know there are, I think, a couple of new categories, which is good, you know, it continues to grow, it continues to develop, um, um, and people continue to win. Recognition is showing all over Africa. It's always a pleasure seeing her, because she's always looking very amiable. Nice hairstyle, nice dress. Thank you very much. You look beautiful. Tonight. Thank you. Okay, Chika, you're here for Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards. First of all, who designed your outfit? He's called Tariq Adiz. He's an Arab designer. He made this dress for me. And you thought you could do this proper for Africa Magic? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's quite heavy, but I'm loving it. Yeah, a lot of um, hand beading and all that, a lot of fabric going on there, so, yes. What is Skeptica going in spite of all the challenges? Well, un honestly, I'm one person who told myself that um, I, I have to keep moving. I'm a moving train, and anyone who's trying to stop me, I pass by you. <laughs> so, basically, it's God. God God has been wonderful to me, and also, when I remember all my career, what I want, my, 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 my dreams, my aspirations, I just keep driving forward. Yes. Chica, I do hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you very much. You Thanks for coming. Chica said I look beautiful, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Nice to have you here. Same, same, nice to see you too. The outfit is simple and nice. Oh, thank you very much. I'm uh, dressing quite a few um, of the celebrities today. I think Bimbo Akintola, uh, Dolakwa Wushika, uh, and Wangi, who is the regional director. And also my manager is actually wearing something of mine. I would definitely talk with your manager. Now, your man, the, the manager, the entertainment manager for Ade Bakare, how does it feel working with Ade? Oh, great, fantastic. He's been fun. He's a nice person and it's nice working with him. There's a whole lot going down here. The celebrities are looking extremely amazing. Our days are um, all happy. We're presenting and we're happy to be here. What's your impression of African Magic Viewers Choice Award? No, fantastic. I, I was here last year and we're here today. And we, everybody's looking glamorous. And uh, we, it's nice being here. Fantastic. We are looking forward for the, to, the, to see the winners and also celebrate with them. It's about Africa. It's about the, the entertainment and it's talent we are celebrating here. So it's fine. Okay, Moise, you're here for African Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Nice outfit. Expectations from that night is quite high, but what would you say about the evolution of African movies? You are not an actor, but you're a musician and you're professional, so what would you say about it? The funny thing is that I've acted before in a movie out in the UK called Find Her Keeper, so um, I'm not a professional actor, but I've been in that field before, and I must say, it's incredible. Me, uh, if anybody knows me, my hobby is to watch African movies, you understand? My spare time, I watch a lot of African movies, and it's incredible the way this whole thing is, you know? Um, and you get to meet all these uh, great actors and actresses, it's amazing.